Use only a paper map, no Google Maps allowed. At this rate, when the night sky comes out, we can at least navigate by the fucking stars. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to Journey Across Japan in comprehensively long cycle of despair. This morning we start our day on the majestic, glistening shores of Lake Biwa, Japan's largest freshwater lake. It's so beautiful. At this time in the morning, the fresh lake air, the mountains, it's a really nice place to kick things off. Um, I'm feeling emotional at the moment. I mean, I'm not really, I just thought I'd say I was, but I'm feeling emotional at the moment because we've just finished, as of today, leg two of our journey from Niigata City all the way to Kyoto, all the way down the Sea of Japan. If you have been watching the last few days, you'll know that we've traveled through some pretty rural areas. And as of today, as of this week, that completely changes as we start going through cities like Kyoto, Osaka, and Kobe. One of the most built up urban areas on the entire planet, let alone Japan. I think it'd be a shame to tackle those three amazing cities alone. And for that reason, we've got a new guest joining us today. Uh, somebody who doesn't even live in Japan. So I'm looking forward to living vicariously through his experiences for the rest of the week. Well, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Our other guests that we've met the last few days have been sitting in benches and swivel chairs. And then there's this guy splashing around in a lake. Look who it is. It's Pete Donaldson. The fish stole my hat. Yes. Thanks for letting me get involved in your big trip, Chris. It looks like you, you've only arrived in Japan a few hours ago and you're already splashing around the sea, having a whale of a time. For those of you wondering who this rather eccentric, <laughs> bizarre chap is, wiping sand off of his legs, Pete Donaldson's my co-host on the Abroad Japan podcast. He is a top London radio DJ on Absolute Radio. You might have heard him on the Football Ramble, one of the biggest podcasts in the world. Uh, and again, he's still wiping sand off his feet. I've been in Japan for about a day and I thought the first thing I need to do is check out what Chris is doing. Contrary to popular belief, you're not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> I feel a little bit dead. I must admit this lake is a nice place to rest up and feel a bit rejuvenated though. Yeah. I kind of don't even want to cycle today, I just want to sit by this bloody lake and do what you were doing. What you were doing two minutes ago was exactly what I want to do, but I don't have enough time to do. So I've got to cycle 2,000 kilometers. Anyway, let's get Pete Donaldson kitted up, suited up, and let's roll out. I've not ridden a bike since I was 10. Hello. So Pete and I, are about to film the introduction to the video and we've just discovered a guy quite literally sitting with a pile of cats. I wouldn't say a pile, it's more of a collection, but there's a collection of cats over there for some reason. I love all the meowing. It's not even sound effects that I've put on. There's genuinely... Put, put more cat noises right now. <laughs> just put more meows in now. I'm furious at these cats. I am highly allergic to cats. This isn't an ideal situation at all, to be honest. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, this would Pete, be a great. This would be a great start to the video. You having an allergic reaction to some cats? Yeah, just Pete, dying on the floor by Pete, the lake. Do, do, do you want to do, do, do a bike ride? For like, do you want to do ride all the way to Kyoto? Even though a, you've never been on a bike since like you've been ten years old, and also can you hang out with a lot of cats before you start? To really get the asthma going. Brilliant. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. What's the first challenge then, Pete? What's your? I'll let you do it. You do yeah. It. Let me you, manhandle. You do it. I'm Pan Man. Thank you. Right. All right. <laughs> Use only a paper map. No Google Maps allowed. That's from Dernionet. No Google Maps allowed? I've made it all the way here, which is about 700 kilometers, mm. by using only Google Maps. Without Google Maps, I'd be in a bush or in a river or just, just in a pile of death by now. Well, I don't know where we're going really because we can't use Google Maps already. What I do know is Kyoto's that way down the lake and there's a Lawson's just around the corner where we can hopefully buy a paper map. So. And pornography. Pete, do you know the way? Right. You found the maps? Hmm? You found the maps yet? Um, yeah, I think it might be in this, this section over here. Um, one of these are bound to have the information that we need, so I think we should buy all of them and just, and just have a good read through, shocking. see if we can find the... We're sticking to the maps. Oh, okay. And where's this in Japan? I love the way that's right next to the map. <laughs> if you're just a child buying a map. Why would children like, be buying what's Mummy, what's this? <laughs> Alright, well, we've got our map. You know, I forgot what paper maps are actually like. It's, you hold that. Uh, and you hold that. I, I, when I was a kid, I used to love maps. Mm. People call me B Road, because my, my, my surname is Broad. So 
So kids used to call me B-Road, because I could tell you how to get from A to Z anywhere in the UK. That's pretty so good, you say, you say to me, Chris, how do I get to Yorkshire from London? I'll be like, go up the A1. And they'll be like, wow, you're amazing, B-Road. That's like the one big motorway we've got. That's a really easy question. Shut I up. know that, I can't drive. Don't steal my childhood away from me, Pete. I was very proud of that. Okay, so we are somewhere around here, Takashima, and we're gonna go down the 161 to Shirahige Shrine, really famous shrine in Lake Biwa. I don't really know where it is on the map, I can't see it. So what we'll do, Pete, we'll just keep cycling down the 161 down the coast until you see a really nice looking shrine, then just tell me to stop, all right? How will I know what the shrine looks like? It looks red. Okay. Pete Donaldson is rather lucky, ladies and gentlemen, but he's joining on one of the most beautiful days, one of the most beautiful stretches of the entire trip around Lake Biwa, and also Kyoto, Osaka and Kobe. On the other hand, he hasn't got any cycling pants that are padded, so I don't know if he's going to be able to cycle by the end of the day, after what that bike saddle is going to do to his backside. Nanikore! <laughs> what is this? It's a windmill, Pete. Yeah, I know, but why? What's it doing? What business does it have here? We're in the middle of nowhere. We stumbled across a windmill randomly. Um, I, it feels like we've just suddenly transcended time and space and arrived in Holland. If this, if this was a video game, this is where we'd get a side quest from. And it would involve collecting some cog to go in the windmill. <laughs> You've been playing too much Zelda, Pete. <laughs> just the upkeep of this place. It's in the middle of nowhere. I think it's a campsite. Yeah, it's just there's got like, windmills in it. But there's like three or four people here. You've got to paint that every year, presumably. <laughs> it doesn't even move. It What's will going do. On? It will do when it's windy. Bring Calm on down. The wind. Wow. I've actually never seen one of those um, shrines that are in the water. Tory Gate in the Sea. Tory Gate in the Sea. Well, you've done the first, what? How many kilometres is that? 15 kilometres you've done now. How do you feel? I think that's the most I've cycled in my life. 15 kilometres. And there's your reward. It's a beautiful uh, it does, day. It feels like we're on the edge of heaven. <laughs> you know what? I honestly think Lake Biwa might be my new favourite cycle spot. The scenery around here has been absolutely stunning. Look at those lucky bastards on the canoe. I'd give anything to be on a canoe right now within reason. Today's lunch consists of energy jelly and a cereal bar. Winner. I didn't bring any food. Why didn't you bring me any food? I, I thought you brought your own food. I didn't bring anything. Oh. Well, you could get something at a convenience store. A you can have what's left of the jelly. I'm eating a fish. Go and splash about while I eat my cereal bar. Oh. Well, the, uh, the inevitable happened, guys. We are a little bit lost. Um, we had to leave the side of the lake and go off on a bit of a detour, and I don't know where we are now. Luckily, the greatest map reader ever to leave northern the UK is, is now reading the map for us. So that's south. It's like map reading with Mr Bean. Fucking hell. I think we need to go, that, we need to go towards the sun. We need to go towards the sun. Yeah. Up them hills. Over there. Turn around, look at that scenery. It's beautiful. Look at that. Look at those graphics. If you have any reservations about visiting Japan, take a look at that scene. Not, not Pete. Not me. Like the, the scenery though is absolutely stunning. This route we've done today around Lake Biwa, probably the most picturesque route, most picturesque day so far, to be honest. I've absolutely loved it. The weather's been perfect. The visibility is so clear. You can see all the mountains around the lake. I can hear our map being blown away. Get the map. <laughs> Save the map. I still don't know where the bloody hell we are. We are. I think you've got the wrong side of the map. Oh. That might help. At this rate, when the night sky comes out, we can at least navigate by the fucking stars. <laughs> we might have to crack that map out again soon, Pete. As beautiful as it is, having a clue where we are.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, day has turned to night. Rolling rice fields have turned into buildings and sun has turned into rain. Um, and we're somewhere on the outskirts of Kyoto, a little bit lost, not gonna lie. Pete Donaldson is leading the charge in front. And I suspect he has less of an idea of where he is than I do. So I don't know why I've let him go in front, really. Because he's got control of the paper map, it seems he's got mad with power. How do you feel, Mr. Donaldson? Um, my bum still hurts, but I think we're getting closer, and that's the main thing. You sound so out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> we are very soggy, Chris, aren't we? We're very soggy. Soggy boys. I think we're going to need to look at the map, mate. I haven't a damn clue where we are. Do you want to look at it now? I want to look at it now, but wait till there's some shelter because it's raining. Okay. How did people do this without Google Maps in the 1990s? I didn't go anywhere. I never really left my town. And now I'm in the middle of nowhere in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> that map didn't last long, did it? One day, it's already ripped. I must admit, ladies and gentlemen, seeing Pete Donaldson fuck about with this paper map, damp, wet, now ripped apart after just about six or seven hours. <laughs> Makes me wonder how people used to function without Google Maps, to be honest. How did people do it? How did you do it? If you lived before a time where there was the internet or Google Maps, how did you do it? Because this is ridiculous. You can't even see the map because it's dark. I feel like a whingy bitch, but I don't know. After, gro after growing up for like two decades with the internet and maps and things, you, you just get really accustomed to how simple life is, you know? What's that? We need one of them cars. All right, where are we? Where are we, Pete? Well, I think... That, you know that place that's famous in Kyoto with all of the, 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 the gates? I think that's this. It's because, definitely not. Is it not? No. Oh. Pete, Kyoto isn't even on the map. Well, what am I looking at then? <laughs> You're looking at... We, we've cycled down here earlier. We're, we're like down here now. Oh. This is an utter shit show. Okay, we are somewhere in this area. So we've cycled, we started off up here by the lake. We right. cycled down the lake. And we are, we followed the main road down, this one round here, I think. So we're about here. So yeah. now, now work out how to get somewhere. Get somewhere. Give, you, give me some idea of where you want to go. So we're looking to end the trip at Yasaka Shrine. Yasaka Shrine. Oh, this one. You mean this one right here? I don't know where it is. It's all in Japanese. Chris speaks Japanese. Chris reads Japanese. I'll read it. I haven't got a bloody clue. Why have you got the map then? This why, is, you why, ridiculous. Why, 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 I'm leaving why, you. Give me that camera. I'm, give me the camera right now. Don't, don't. Give me that camera. Stop this. It's Pete's film now. Pete in Japan. We're going for a drink. Bye. Let's face it, we're not ever going to use this map again after today. So no. Bear in mind. Bite sized bits. Yeah. You've just thrown away a big chunk of Japan. Okay. It's like the start of Game of Thrones. Except on Game of Thrones, you can actually see the map because it's not dark. <laughs> Pete, Pete, you know what I'm saying? I must say. Though I, uh, I absolutely despise cycling in the rain, it's my least favourite thing. Cycling at night in Kyoto through the rain looks absolutely stunning. The rain just bounces off the, um, the lights illuminated in the rain and the pools of water. It's a beautiful sight to behold. And this is absolutely fucking terrifying. This is a pretty immersive 4D experience. There you are. Pete, we've done it. There it is. Oh, it's red. We've fucking done it. Oh shit! Oh, hey! That's our camera crew. I caught my finger in my bell. <laughs> hey, we made it! Yasaka Shrine on the edge of Kyoto. I really enjoyed it. You well did done, it. Chris. You survived. Did the map survive? No. No. The map did not survive. It's falling, it's just falling apart. The map's in two pieces, the map's soaking wet. It's horrible. I must say, though on the surface there seems to be something romantic about using a paper map, in reality, it's not. It's, it's just a fucking nightmare. It's nice to see lights, it's nice to see people, and it's nice to see warm, warm buildings. I want a cup of tea. I want a cup of tea. You look so underprepared. Yeah. Are you wearing, why are you wearing this? I'm wearing slippers. The map is soggy. <laughs> the map can never be used again. I'd like to apologize to the cartographer who crafted this map all those many years ago. It looks like a used tissue. It looks like a used it's tissue. Disgusting. It's disgusting. This is it. That's the end of leg two of the journey from Niigata to Kyoto. So I'm, I'm feeling quite emotional, Pete. This is a, a big event and there's water literally on my face and helmet. Oh my God. It's, it's quite ironic because we just finished leg two and two of my legs are finished. Brilliant. Well, 
We'll be back tomorrow, guys. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be exploring Kyoto, and for the next few days we're going to be checking out Kyoto, Osaka, and Kobe. There's not much cycling here. It is just going to be checking out Kansai region um, because I need a bit of rest. I need to prepare and gear up for the big cycle that takes us from Kansai all the way to Kagoshima, and the rain is still going in my face. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you hopefully right back here tomorrow. Let's go and get dry. My feet are absolutely soaking. Bye. Bye. I want to go at the monkey park. Pete, we're not going to a monkey park. I thought today was supposed to be my day off. You know exactly who this is, Chris. Your mum? Chris! You're the real monster!